and Lawrence McIsaac, um, representing Social Credit. Lawrence, thank you for joining us. Thank you for the opportunity to present some comments to support our written submission. Um, as I'm Lawrence McIsaac, I'm a newly representative to the Waimakaroo District Council for Social Credit. I have seen the submissions that Chris made to the council, and obviously, being the group of people you are, you've read those submissions, and we have some comments that we would just like to ask and add to those, those comments. We understand you propose to spend $90 million of our money, it's just taxpayers. I live in Waimakariri, but I own a property in Christchurch as well, so I'm also a local taxpayer. Um, that's $90 million of your money, my money, our money really, and it's for all ratepayers in the districts, and that just goes on paying the interest to private investors and money the council has borrowed. Um, when ratepayers pay your rates, we do believe they're expected to get, they expect to get council services in return, not see their hard-earned money going to back up in financial institutions and make profit for private investors. The $90 million could have produced a rates reduction this year uh, rather than a rates increase, or it could have gone into perhaps better services, roading, free buses, or a host of other things that will benefit the ratepayers of Christchurch. And how could that have been achieved? I ask, has the Council approached the Government or the Reserve Bank with a proposal to source its funding requirements from the Reserve Bank at zero interest, as our submission suggests, or have they not? Did the Council approach the Government to discuss Social Credit's proposal for the Government to pay the rates bill to ev by for everyone in the Council's area as part of the COVID-19 recovery package? We all know the Reserve Bank is in the process of creating $60 billion, $60 billion in new money. We ask, is the Council pursuing business as usual rather than exploring those ideas which the former Chairman of the Council's Finance Committee, Raf Manji, has been writing about for some time. Our submissions have laid out the basis for councillors and council members, officers, to research and understand the process of money creation, along with the authoritative references from such institutions as the Bank of England, the International Monetary Fund, and even our own Reserve Bank, most especially our own Reserve Bank, as well as examples of where it has been previously used to benefit New Zealanders. And we quote, pre-post-war, 43,000 houses built by a Labour government from money created from the Reserve Bank at no interest to the government of the day. Has any councillor or council officer undertaken research to that end? What do we ask? We are in exceptional economic times. Business, as usual, we think, is no longer acceptable. It's time to look for new and better alternatives. There is a second well-supported basis for the proposals in our submissions. Leading economists like Ganesh Nana, Dr Jeff Bertram, Shaman Bal Yakov, and the aforementioned Raf Manji all support the proposal and the policy of social credit with regard to the money coming from the Reserve Bank at zero interest and therefore a huge saving to the district and community. The Reserve Bank has already proven it can create new money and it does create new money. Normally it creates for the private lending institutes who then put their interest on and they pocket the cash difference which we all pay for. What is required for the council to take note of these facts? We ask. The decision to do so could achieve the full rate payers the greatest service the council has ever provided. And that is the use of the rate payers' money, all of it, not just some of it, to provide facilities and services. Thank you for the chance. Thank you. Tim. Yeah, thank you. You've mentioned the previous councillor, Raf Manji, and, and yourselves. Have you gone to the Reserve Bank and asked them this question? I believe that we have, and personally I do not have the answers, 
But I believe I can find those answers for you. So the social credit has gone to the Reserve Bank because it's you know we you can write we can write all we want we can do what we want but if the Reserve Bank don't aren't interested and won't do it for for us yes. then it's kind of irrelevant, isn't it? Well, I believe under the Reserve Bank Act, the, and I've got mm. reference to that elsewhere. Um, yes, there is provision to do that. Yeah, legally or provisions they can, but whether they want to and the reasons why they don't would be really handy for us to know that, wouldn't it? Okay, well, I shall check with Mr. Leach. And, um, yeah. Yeah. Well, but the, the question's been asked of us, but if the Reserve Bank, and it, it's no point. All right. This is a discussion that we can have outside of this meeting, but thank you for raising the um, discussion that we're having. That's great. Thanks very much indeed for the time taken addressing us today. Appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. So next we've got.